Hey beauties and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this fall curly look. I did bleach the hair and did a little, you know, a little something something with the edges. So if you guys want to see this video, please make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So today we're going to be using hair from I See Hair and they sent me a full lace wig in the Water Wave I think it was. Yeah, Water Wave in 22 inches. They also sent me some goodies here. I love when companies send me goodies. I have lashes, I have um, the scarf, I have a um, pamphlet in there and the box has a lot of information on it if you want to go check them out. So here is the hair straight out the packaging, nothing done to it. It. Here is what the um, construction of the wig looks like. It looks like a lace front and you have all the combs and yes, here's the hairline. It did come pre-plugged. looks nice and natural. So I did go ahead and bleach the ends and I bleached the knots here. Now I wasn't planning on bleaching the hair but I made way too much bleach so I said I'm not gonna you know let it go away. So I put it on the ends of the wig to give it a nice ombre effect. For the fall look I think this would be perfect for the fall so I just wrapped it in the saran wrap it was sitting on top of I left it for about 40 minutes 30 to 40 minutes just keep your eyes on it you don't want to you know over process the hair and the lace so make sure you always keep a, a eye out next I uh, rinsed it out and um, now it's time for me to use the purple shampoo method to kind of tone the hair to make sure we don't have too much of that brassy look in it so this is just a quick way to tone your hair if you don't want to go into all the dyes and all that so I left that in for about 30 40 minutes I just let it soak just stir it around a little bit let it soak in there and that is hot water so of course I pluck the wig and here it is. Everything is ready to be played with. Here is how it looks. Here's how the coloring came out. I think it's really nice. Just nice little tips on there for the fall time. So we're going to definitely have to work with this wig. We've got to make her come to life. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the front portion. I'm going to do my side part like I always like to do. I did over pluck a little bit by that part area, but I will show you guys how I fix it later on. You just put a little foundation, not foundation, a little eyeshadow right there and it's good as new. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and work on that um, parting area. I put the Gatsby glue spray and I'm gonna use my hot comb to flatten out that area. Alright, so that's done. I'm going to go ahead and work on those curls. I'm just spraying a whole lot of water on there. I'm being very generous. And I'm going to get that nice and damp with the water so that the curls can, you know, come back together or uniformed and make those curls pop a little bit more. And she's looking pretty already. I'm going in with my Got To Be Glue Mousse to add, you know, an extra layer of protection to make sure that that hair is going to stay looking nice and curly and shiny. So that's what I'm using here. Now you can skip this part but I wanted to add a little bit of layers to the hair so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put it, you know, just to frame my face, just the front areas. Alright, so now it's time to work on the hairline a little bit more. I'm spraying the Gatsby Glue Spray. Then I'm going straight in with my hot comb. You don't have to do this part because really I just went over it again and did the baby hairs. But I like to see it laid down to see what I'm working with. And then I go and I take out the baby hairs that I want. I mean, you can definitely skip that part if you want. But I think it laid it down really nicely so I can see what I'm working with. So I'm going to go in with the Nairobi and we're going to do the baby hairs.
Alright, so now that I'm done doing the hairline, I think she's looking very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and set that with this, um, I forgot what you call this thing that I put on there. I will leave it in the bottom part and we're going to let that dry. So now she's ready. I did add a elastic band on there to make it glueless and we're going to go ahead and apply it to our head. Alright you guys, so I've applied the wig. I think I need to come forward so you guys can see me a little bit better. I forgot to put anything on my lips. All right, I'm back you guys. I just applied my lips. Let me put my phone on silent because I don't need it to be messed me up. Um, no, I kind of like shiny lips. I haven't had shiny lips in a long time. I'm always into the matte. Okay, so let me get back to this video. So as you can see, I applied the um, elastic band on here to make this wig glueless. Even though I'm gonna still put down the sides with the got to be glue, it's technically glueless, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I cut the lace. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this back, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slit here. Going up to the hairline, a slit here going up to the hairline, and on this side the same way going up to the hairline. Now I can barely see because I don't have my glasses on, so I'm hoping I'm not cutting into the hairline. <laughs> Alright, so this, this leaves four different sections for you to cut your lace, okay? And I like to use a um, uh, eyebrow razor because it's gonna get nice jagged edges. You never want to cut straight across. That's gonna be a telltale sign that you're wearing a wig and it just looks like a box. It just doesn't look natural at all. Okay, and those baby hairs I lay down are kind of flying away, but we're gonna fix that later on. And you guys probably can see me better, all right? So here we go. I'm just gonna take it and I'm just moving in jagged edges, stopping and going. Take your time because you don't want to cut into your hairline. And just follow the movements that I'm doing. I'm just doing jagged cuts. Sometimes you're probably going to go into the hairline, but as long as you don't take a big scoop of it, you should be okay. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going like that. You see how I'm just cutting into it? And then the end, you can kind of pull it this way like that all right so it looks something like that and over here you're gonna do the same thing I like to go from this way instead of this way but you could do whatever feels comfortable it just feels comfortable for me to do it from this way okay and you guys I have a cold so you're gonna hear me sniffling it is flu season you guys everybody in my house has a cold it sucks, even my little baby. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it on this side like that. And just keep cutting away. There you go. Now you're gonna have pieces like this that's just like out there hanging and you can just cut it off. Okay. I don't have to worry about that too much. Now I should have did something to my edges. I should have put some wax on it. I could do that right now. I'm gonna take my little wax. And I'm gonna lay some of my edges down so it won't get in the way, like that. And like that. Now, I don't have my little brush, so I'm gonna have to use this comb and just lay it down like that. Just to make sure everything is staying out of the way. All right, so now, So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of got to be glue around this part, the edges here, and then we're going to use the Nairobi around this part and a little bit here to do a little bit of baby hair. So I'm going to just spray a little bit on here.
All right, so I just did that and I'm already impatient. So I'm gonna take this off and if it's not working, I'm just gonna use the Gatsby glue. So only use this method if you have time to sit and wait. I don't really have time to sit and wait, so hopefully it worked out. It worked for the most part. It's kinda dry. This side here could be a little bit better, but. So you guys, you can see how you can fix things when you overdo things that you didn't mean to do. This is just one bleach session. I left it on for about 30, 40 minutes. I didn't want it too light. I just wanted to get a nice little lift just to have, you know, some accents to the hair. You know, something cool for the fall. Now I'm probably gonna go back in and go a little further up on the, you know, the hair here because it's just no, you know, I want all the tips to be bleach. So instead of just the back, cause I cut a lot of the bleach tips off when I did the layering. So I wanna add it back. So I'm gonna go ahead back and do some, you know, some more bleaching. And I might tone it this time to get another little look. All right, so I think that's about it about this hair. I really like it. The hair feels really good. It's minimum shedding. Um, I have more information about this hair in the bottom bar below, so make sure you check it out, see if they have any sales or anything. So that is gonna be it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.